worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry you Okay, so yeah, I, I decided I did an auction last night on whatnot. I didn't do it on camera. I was wanting to relax and, um, you know, get in pajamas and stuff. <laughs> so I, that's what I did. Um, and it went pretty good. I mean, I had, it was like the first 10 items, nothing, but then people started coming in. And then I had a steady stream all the way till the end. It wasn't like a huge stream, it was like, you know, 10 to 15 people. And, um, you know, that's enough to get you to, you know, for people to buy. So um, it was steady like that all the way to the end. And there was, at the end, there was, like I was saying, there was a, there was a mother, mother and daughter competing against each other uh, in my auction, which was great. <laughs> they, were, they were funny. Um, you know, so right before I did the, I did the auction, I was watching a video by Danny, the niche lady, um, and she was it, was, it was a video, she was talking about where resellers go from here. And she was talking about, you know, uh, well, first she was, she was talking about like what eBay was like when it first started and what shipping and everything was like. And then she was talking about like other platforms and what they were like for when they first started. And, um, you know, it was very informative. I remember eBay when it first started, but I mean, I was much younger at the time and, um, you know, I wasn't selling or anything. So, but, um, I do remember what she was talking about when she was, she was talking about the, you know, having to, you had to scan pictures and stuff to put into the item listing. Anyway, um, so she was, what I was most interested in what she was talking about was she was talking about where resellers go. And she was trying to explain to people that, yes, on whatnot, you, uh, a lot of people, you sell a lot of stuff really fast and, um, but for cheaper than you would on eBay. And, um, but her point on that was that, you know, people were saying, you know, yeah, but you got to sell it for less. and. But that, her, that was her point, was that on eBay or Facebook or whatever, that you you have to wait a longer time for it to sell. An item that can sell in one auction, and you know, you could buy it this day, and the next day it sells in an auction, is compared to a, you buy it this day, and two months or three months later, it sells on eBay. That was her point, was the money was faster. You were moving things faster. And that is definitely true because I started out when I started and whatnot. I mean, I had shelves and shelves full of glass. I, I must have had like 600 and something items. I am down to about 100 items. So I have to steady go and find stuff because your stuff, you move so much and whatnot in an auction. And if you do the two, to, say you move 15, 20 items in one auction and you do two to three auctions a week. That's 45 items each week in a four month period, you know, in a four week period. You know, so things move a lot faster. You may get your money faster. So that point was definitely on par. You know, you get to, you buy this item, right? Then you put it in an auction, it sells compared to the eBay where I put something on and you know, it could take weeks and weeks or months and months to sell. And um, and then the one of the last things she said, one of the last things she was saying in the video that I heard before I had to, I had to turn it off because I had to start my auction, was um, she was saying, do not start your prices as eBay prices because you're not gonna get eBay prices unless you got that one person in the room that, you know, is a, you know, great collector or something and is willing to pay that amount. You know, and, and you could just simply lower the price. Like say you got an item for like, and you want 15, $20 for this. Say you want $20 for this. And, um, but nobody wants to pay $20 for that. They wanna, they wanna see if it gets lowered so they'll wait to the next auction and you know, you could have already sold it but you only paid a dollar something for it. See, so 
If you only paid a dollar something or even a couple dollars, but you're trying to get $50 out of it, you know, yeah, you could probably, you might be able to get that on eBay, but it's going to take a long time to get it. So if you could just triple your money real quick and get it back, get the money you paid for it back, plus make a, a big profit, a good, a good profit, then why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you do that? Because, you know, it's, um, uh, it just moves faster and you and you get paid faster so therefore you can go source more and you can you know move things along so i totally got her what she was trying to say there and and i try i started doing that i started lowering some of my prices um to what i would be acceptable to me not just giving it away just what i could deal with getting if i could get it now instead of three or four months from now so and and it, it kind of, it worked and people started buying and and I get it that Danny has a huge following so obviously people are gonna buy her stuff more you know for for really fast and more prices and stuff but it still it still was doesn't you know what she was saying still applied you know you, you gotta you know tamper down what you're trying to get out of these items. If it's not an item that you're going to collect and it's just for somebody else to collect or to resell or whatever they're going to do with it, um, and you only paid a few dollars for it, say you only paid $3.99 or $2.99, but you made 20 bucks, so you tripled your profit more than that and got your money back. So you didn't have to wait months to get $50, you just, you just got your good profit back right then, you know, the next day or in a couple of days. So I totally got, get that. And um, there are certain items that I won't budge on that I'll wait for eBay to pay for it to, uh, you know, I, ca I can't just give away. There are certain items, but it doesn't have to be all your items. It could just be those ones that you know, somebody on eBay will pay the amount um, as long as it's not gonna take three to six months for them to pay that amount because really, that item is just sitting on the shelf, not making you any money. So you're taking up space. So um, I guess you just gotta think about that when when listing items and whatnot. What can you accept? What is it? What is the amount that you would feel good about? That you know you know it's worth more, but you'll accept this because you'll get that faster. So. Um, I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. Danny, she's so smart. She's so smart at this all. And what, you know, you, you really should watch her channel because she she um, is so informative about it all. And, and that video covered a lot. It covered a lot of platforms and stuff like that. And, and um, I'm gonna finish it today. I think I only had like 10 minutes left. It was a longer video, but um, yeah, she's super smart and she knows what she's talking about and she could help you. She really can help you and teach you. So um, I just wanted to talk about that this morning. I haven't done a video in a few days. Uh, I think since the weekend or maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try and go to Goodwill. To good, I can't talk. Goodwill today or tomorrow. But um, I don't know yet. And I'll do another auction maybe Thursday or Friday. Today is oh, today's only Tuesday. Well, I have to pack up tonight, so I can't do one tonight. I gotta pack all that stuff up and get it out. Cause I just sent out packages yesterday, but I need to send all that stuff up too. Um, anyway, uh, I hope uh, you have a blessed day. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you on whatnot. Please like, comment and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. All right, have a good day. These are the items I sold in the auction last night. Um, this is a Fenton leaf compote. I sold both Viking ashtrays to a mother and daughter that were competing each other against each other. It was funny. Uh, this red vase, this cobalt vase, this Fenton basket, which I have a second one of. This controlled bubble amethyst bowl. I sold these Tiffin glasses on eBay and then these three on Facebook. And then these also sold in the auction last night. This, uh, blue vase the tracy porter i think the same person bought all three of those and may have also bought these 
these are the giveaways. And this guy finally sold, the wizard paperweight. And this fantastic candy wrapper purse. So yeah, I did pretty well. I, I reached the goal I was trying to get to last night, so that was great. Don't mind my garbage, sorry. Um, yeah. So um, I still am going to have all of these items. I still have another Fenton basket. I still have the Moon and Stars. Another Fenton. Another Fenton. Two more Fentons over there. I'm going to try and get some more stuff this week. I'm supposed to go with my friend Mary to um, garage sales this weekend, so hopefully. All right, so that is all still there. But even just, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it did make me a good amount of money. So that was great. All right. Hearts worth falling for. Oh, and with open arms, I'll carry you.